Hello, my friends. Welcome back. There is a parallelogram, A, B, C, D. Angle D is acute. The length of AB is longer than that of BC. We first extend BC, and plot a circle, with point A as the center, and the length of AB as the radius. The circle in the extension of BC intersected point P. Then we plot another circle, with point C as the center, and the length of CB as the radius. This circle and AB intersect at point Q. Connect point D to Q, and pawn D to P, respectively. Can you prove that, the length DP is the same as that of DQ? Why not give a try, and we will come back soon. We first connect points C and Q. Points C and A, respectively. And then extend BA, which crosses the circle A at point K. In the following, we connect points P and K, which crosses the segment AD at point H. At last, we connect points D and K. Since ABCD is a parallelogram, segments AB is parallel to DC, and segment AD is equals to BC. Segments CQ and BC are both the radii of circle C, so they are equal to each other. We therefore have the length of segment AD equals to that of CQ. Putting them together, we know the quadrilateral AQCD is an isosceles trapezoid. The diagonals of an isosceles trapezoid AC and DQ are therefore equal to each other. We take a look at the parallelogram ABCD again and get that AB is parallel as well as equal to DC. That means AK is parallel as well as equal to DC. So HCDK is also a parallelogram. We therefore obtain that AC is equals to DK. Because P is a point on the circle A, and BK is its diameter. BP is perpendicular to PK. Don't forget that, AD is parallel to BC. So AD is also perpendicular to PK. Since PK is a chord of circle, and A is the circle's center, HK is equal to HP. These two conditions tell us that, the triangles DHK and DHP are congruent. We thus obtain that, DP equals to DK. From those three points, we conclude that, the length of DP is equals to that of DQ. So, we are done. Thank you for watching and see you next time.